A report by a Texas House investigative committee on the Uvalde school shooting was released over the weekend, blaming systematic failures and poor leadership for the tragedy. The 77-page report details how nearly 400 law enforcement officers rushed to rob elementary school in Uvalde, Texas on May 24th, but failed to confront the gunman for more than an hour. As a result, 19 students and two teachers were killed. Joining me now to discuss is Cheryl Dorsey, retired LAPD sergeant. And Cheryl, the report says first responders lost critical momentum by treating the situation as a barricaded suspect scenario instead of an active shooting incident. Does this explain the lack of action on the officer's part, or what does it explain? Well, listen, I mean, it's a, it's a reason, but it, it's nonsensical because you don't have a barricaded suspect, and I don't care what they say, uh, there was an active shooter. And there were children that were calling from within the classroom where the shooting was actually occurring, letting everyone know real time through the 911 dispatcher what was going on. And so... They understand the elected officials and uh, certainly chief, police chief uh, Pete Arredondo that civil liability is right around the corner and they're going to be very mindful of the kinds of things that they say going forward. So Uvalde police released body cam footage of officers on the scene over the weekend as well. And you could hear where the officers talking to the gunner. We're going to play that clip for you now. Sir, if you can hear me, please put your gun down. We don't want anybody else hurt. Tell him in Spanish. Tell him in Spanish. Si me puede escuchar, la arma para el piso, por favor. What do you think about this tactic, and is it the right one? Well, let me be uh, clear. Uh, that's not an officer. That's police chief Pete Arredondo, who is the incident commander, commander on scene and in charge of uh, managing that police shooting or that uh, massacre that was occurring. And so what I think about is uh, it's embarrassing. It's nonsensical. I mean, we don't negotiate with an active shooter. There were children in that classroom, and we know this to be true. Now, the police chief didn't know it. Why? Because uh, insanely, he went into that active shooter scene without his police radios. Radios, he's also admitted, don't work in his side of his school, so why would you have them? So he was unaware of what was going on. You had other officers outside who were uh, aware of this information, but there was no way to communicate uh, via all the different agencies that were there on scene. And so this was a colossal failure. It was a lack of leadership. It was ineptitude and uh, unprofessionalism, if you will, on the, on the part of the incident commander, Police Chief Pete Arredondo. And those other officers stood down in deference to the stars that he had on his shirt collar. What were so many things that could have changed during this response that you've noticed that you think may have had a different outcome? Well, the main thing is that the shooters should have been confronted. I mean, it's their policy. Police Chief Pete Arredondo wrote the policy on how to deal with an active shooter. And so they should have uh, gone in. That's, that's an oath that police officers take. Listen, I spent 20 years in patrol, and I know this to be true. Uh, being hurt, injured, and losing your life is inherent to police work. And so you don't get to stand down because you're fearful. You don't get to stand down because you think you might be hurt. And this is what happened. So there was a failure on the part of many people. But I believe at the end of the day, there will probably be very little accountability. Some of these officers will have enough time and grade, including the police chief, to retire. And they won't be uh, charged. Why? Because there's a thing called qualified immunity that pol protects police officers when they involve in misconduct. What can be done to make sure that this kind of response does not happen again? Well, I mean, we have a report, although we didn't need this to tell us what we saw. But understand this, even with this report, I mean, this is a recommendation. Like most reports that come out from these independent civilian review boards, it's a recommendation. I hope that these various agencies will train their officers better. But at the end of the day, because there are so many police agencies involved, every administrator, every police chief, every sheriff has complete and total autonomy with regards to how they adjudicate administrative discipline. And I believe, since there was a police chief, Pete Arredondo, on scene, that these other officers could get something as simple as uh, retraining. And, and very little will be done that will probably sit well with these families who've lost loved ones unnecessarily. Cheryl Dorsey, retired LAPD sergeant. Cheryl, thank you so much for your expertise and joining us on our